Right, the next tech tip which we're gonna go into is that some people get a little bit confused in the wiring on these as to where's the fuses. Well, with this one, the refusers on the output side are all resettable electronic automotive fuses. So they're the sort of ones that you expect to find in your car. And so what it means is if you get a, um, a particular output which goes over amperage, and so it goes outside its specifications, over its 10 or 15 amps, whichever one is specified for, it will go into fault and it will actually shut down. Very simple to fix though. Remove the load, right? remove the offending load or the short circuit, whatever it may be, and the fuse will automatically reset itself. So it's designed to do this. It's a protection mechanism to protect the unit and protect the load. But if you find that a particular circuit, identify it along the bottom there, you've got negative on the left and the positive ones on the right. There's 14 negatives, 14 positives. And find that, disconnect it, it'll reset. Fix the problem that you've got with the load. Once you fix that, the unit will automatic, well not the unit, but that output will automatically reset and kick on again. So the easy way to tell if one of those circuits has gone into a fault because of say a short circuit or overload, there's a range of LED lights that are above the, uh, above the positive line there and you can see. So if one of those goes red, you'll know which one it is. So if the kettle's not working or something's not working, whatever that 12 volt appliance may be, is that you'll get a red light there, as I say. Reset it by pulling the QC connector off and then resetting it and it'll um, come back on again for you. Now with that, so as I mentioned before, you've got 14 outputs. Now it's important to remember that, that assuming this has been wired up properly for you, outputs one and two are 15 amps. All the others are 10 amps, but outputs one and two are the higher amperage ones and they are 15 amps. On those two circuits, you should probably find that your fridge is connected to one of them. And secondly, you should also find that on one or two, uh, on circuits one or two, you will find the Odyssey tablet or the Trek. One, whichever display you've got, that one will be wired onto those. The reason for that is that when you put this into eco mode, which is power saving mode, all of the other outputs are automatically disconnected. So circuits three through to 14 are disconnected, meaning you can't come back to a flat battery. All right, so one and two is for the fridge and for your, um, and for your tablet or your Trek. On 13 and 14, you'll find the pumps are wired. Now you need to make sure that your water pumps are wired into circuits 13 and 14. And the reason for that is the configuration relates back to how we've done it in the Odyssey and the Trek. The other circuits, it doesn't matter what you put on those different lighting circuits, it won't actually matter. That's all configured elsewhere, but it's very important that if you've got water pumps, you put those onto circuit number 13 and circuit number 14 down on the bottom there.